So for this example, we're going to use the sample order line data set where we have order line details. And I filtered this down to a single city, so I have less rows. So here we have sales and quantity, and we would like to measure average selling price. So for this, let's build a custom calculation by adding a calculation to the project. And we'll call this project uh, average unit price. And we divide sales by quantity ordered. We save that and the calculation is now available. We can drag it in the project and OAC will show us the unit price, which is a division of sales by quantity ordered for each of the product categories that we have in the table. So what if I prepare the exact same calculation under the prepare tab in OAC? So let's do this, click on prepare. We go to sales and we're going to create a column out of sales and we will just do the exact same division, sales by quantity ordered, and we'll call it prepare average unit price. And then we just add the step, we click on apply script, and then we can go back to visualization. And now that column will show among the columns of our data set. So here it is. We can drag it in the visualization and we can see that we forgot one thing. It's a column that we added in the prepare tab. So it has to have an aggregation rule and it should be average, not sum. So let's change this to average. And now it looks like the calculation is closer to what we could expect, but still it's quite different from the calculation we built in the project and a few seconds ago. So why is that? Why do we have a difference between the calculation built in the project and the exact same calculation built in the prepare tab? Well, the difference is the level of data grain detail that the calculation is computed with. In the first case, the project level calculation, OAC sums the sales and sums the quantity for each product category and then divides the numbers to get the unit price. In the second case, the prepare level calculation, OAC first computes the unit price for each order line in the data set because order line is the detail level of the data set, the original detail level. So it's as if we had added a column in our original data set with hard-coded unit price. And then second, it computes the average of these unit prices for a given product category. So let's quickly validate this. Let me drill into the furniture product category and let me drill into the detail of order line, which is the detail of my data set. Here are my 18 rows making up my total. So notice that here the unit price is the same for each row because we are looking at order line details. And I'm going to copy this into Excel. Here is the data. And let's check this calculation. So here's the sum of the sales. And then here's the sum of the quantity ordered. And here's the division of the two. Sales by quantity ordered. And that's 10488. On the last column, let me make an average of all the granular unit prices and we're getting 1 to 1.14. Now, if we go back to OAC, these are exactly the number we had for the aggregated product category value we were checking, 10488 and 1 to 1.14. So hopefully this can help you understand the difference between a custom calculation at the project level in Oracle Analytics and the same calculation at the data prepper level. In the first case, project level, OAC aggregates your original data and then proceeds to the calculation. In the second case, the data prepper, OEC first computes your calculation at the granular level and then aggregates it in the visualization at the level that you have in the visualization. In my case, it was product category. So that is why we, we got different results initially. And there is no right or wrong here. It depends on what you need in your analysis. In some cases, if you're running explain, for instance, you need a granular level aggregation, like the second case. In some cases, you need a high level aggregation. Thanks for watching this video.